Hey everybody, welcome back to Resident Evil. Now you might be noticing a few different things about the playthrough from this episode on. Actually, from possibly the differences relating to all my future videos from this point onwards. So there's been some hardware changes since the last time we met, and I have I, previously I've been using the PS4's built-in recording system. Which is nice, satisfactory, but not excellent. Um, but you know, from uh, more recently, I've acquired, which is per, which is long overdue, by the way, an Elgato HD60 Pro game capture card to be installed on my newly acquired PC. And I'm a little distracted because it's been a while since I've played this. I'm not sure exactly what I need. So, how does this relate to you? How is this going to change the program, shall we say? Well... First of all, uh, hopefully, I hope you are noticing that the uh, capture quality has recorded a substantial uptick. You... Uh, I think the game should be looking much better on your end. It's looking better on my end. Mm, no, it's not. I <laughs> say it looks the same on my end, but hopefully, uh, hopefully you are noticing the quality up change. Also, you, this I don't know if you're noticing at all, but I'm no longer in the frame. Which I, I doubt anybody minds. The thing is, since the uh, the game capture quality has increased from, since the last time, I really feel like my own camera quality is not up to par with it. Uh, that and the fact that I've never really felt that my, my own personal presence in my own video has really added anything to it. I mostly just offer commentary anyway. That's something I can do off camera. It doesn't seem to be anything useful. Yeah, that could be used to, to describe my face cam. <laughs> um, shit. Also, another thing I have to confess is I actually tried to record this part already before. Uh, well, I died, just so you know. And then there, this whole hardware changes happened, and I, it's been a while since I played it, but the truth is. For the next maybe 10 or 20 minutes or so, it's going to temporarily not be a completely blind video. They all seem to contain articles about stars. Okay, a few mods here. Uh, I'm gonna grab that map here. There's a map of the residence. Take it? Yes. So a few more places to explore. You've got a map of the residence. There's a hole in the wall here. The last time I made the mistake of actually peeping into the hole and a few wasps flew out of it and attacked me. So I'm not gonna make the same mistake this time, I'm gonna leave them well alone. This room is locked, the door plate reads gallery. Uh, is there something on the wall here? Mm, I don't think so. So let's go to the only door that we actually can go into right now. Necessary to destroy stars. What about my family? If I play my cards right. Sounds like Barry's family is being held hostage, and he has to do something he doesn't like in order to get him back. Okay, let's just walk into a room that clearly poses no danger to us. Jill. Barry, I heard someone talking. Oh, you heard. I think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. <laughs> oh, no you don't. Talking to yourself? You all right? What's gotten into you? 
I'm getting you worried, aren't I? But don't, I'm alright. I guess this creepy mansion has gotten to my nerves. Anyway, I think I'll go outside, get some fresh air for a change. Don't worry, I'm just going to get some fresh air. If I'm lucky, I'll get to waste some monsters along the way. Come on, Jill. You don't buy that, do you? Well, Jill, if you bought that, you are officially the most manipulable person ever. Fictional or otherwise. Okay, let's check out what's on the table. Plan 42 report. Four days have passed since the accident. The plan at point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that it's in, in comparison with the other group of plants, the T-Virus has had a substantially stronger effect on this one. The T-Virus has drastically morphed its host anatomy as well as its size. Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. Nowhere on Earth will you find anything like it. We've also found that Plant 42 has two main sources of acquiring its necessary nutrients. One source is through its root. Somehow, it has rooted itself down into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since, the basement has been like a pool. There's, there is a high possibility that it's one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting the Plant 42's rapid growth. However, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body of the Plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling of the first floor. We're sure that it used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long tentacle-like vines are protruding from the bulb. Um, is that part of the plant that we killed earlier with the planticide or something like that? Was that part of this plant? We believe the vines are the second means of acquiring its nutrients. When the plant 42 senses prey, it uses the tentacle-like vines to capture its prey. After doing so, suckers on the vine drain the prey of its blood. We've also noticed that it has some intelligence. When it captures its prey or when it's inactive, the vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders. Unfortunately, several of our scientists have already fallen victim to the Plant 42. When we heard the stories from the survivors, they all observed the one thing in common. When the uniform petal-like uh, petal flaps open and reveal its vital internals, it has a tendency to become more aggressive. That, that might also be its weakness, though. One witness reported that it was as if it was trying to protect itself. Why it behaves the way it does is still unknown. May 21st, 1998, Henry Sarton. That's pretty crazy. What else do we have in this room? Old newspapers and the magazines lie on top of the bed. Someone appears to have vomited blood on, s on some of the newspapers. Jesus. There is nothing special. Okay. Oh, you know what we should do with this? Why is there an Indiana Jones hat? On the desk there. And there's a secret door here. It's actually a secret ladder. I barely noticed what weapon we were carrying when we got out of it. Because I was like narrating when we were in a safe room. I probably should have made better preparations before that. Um, let's see this room. It's locked from the other side. And yeah, this is going to be a little tedious. So while we're doing this monotonous task, um, let me just add a few you know, notes uh, that's are related to, or at least not that related to Resident Evil. So while we're battling the T-Virus in the game, everybody else in the real world is doing whatever they can to, at, at least the sensible persons are doing whatever they can to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. And the world at large are doing this social distancing. So wherever you are, Whatever condition that your immediate surroundings are in, I just want to say, stay safe. And I hope 
that this thing blows over quite soon. I hope that when you're watching this video, this is like some archaic thing. That's just a footnote in recent history. I hope you are some future generation kids that don't, 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 don't even know what I'm talking about. I sincerely hope that's the case. I hope that sometime in the future we are all going to look back uh, after the first few months of this year and be like, wow, didn't we just overreact to it? Okay, we're gonna enter this door. Now, spoiler alert, it's a pretty scary door. And... Oops. <laughs> oh, shit. Get away. Ah, oh, damn it. We are one bite and we are already at critical. This is bad. We're gonna have to deal with them when they get close. There's a bigger one downstairs. I don't know if you saw him. It's locked. The words power room is written on the door. That's just awesome. Okay. This door is open. Wow. Anywhere. That was the aqua ring, by the way. Uh, or, oh, shit. I forgot about this. Um, the locker is completely soaked. There's nothing special inside. Holy shit. Is there nothing I can take here? I have been an idiot. I have been an absolute idiot. Do you want to know why? I forgot the way... <laughs> I've actually played this once. I know that was like a while back, but... Like... I thought I was supposed to get something from that room. It turns out I don't even need to get into this shark room at all. At least not yet. Holy shit! Oh, I'm glad that thing didn't get me. So it's actually not, strictly speaking, necessary for me to come here and endanger myself. And I wasted a uh, pretty damn good healing sp uh, spray doing it. So that was completely a waste. I have, I have half a mind to just reload the, the save and start over again. So we don't have to waste all those stuff. But you know what? Oh, shit. Why do I hear... Where did that come from? Where did that come from? Seriously. There was no... So, the thing I missed is there's actually another door here. I don't know, even if I know there's a door uh, right here, it's still kind of difficult to discern it.
Okay. Water drips from the sink. Perhaps the valve is broken. Hey, Gabe Newell, fix that. And that's this is what I was looking for. A residence key. Now let's examine that a little bit more closely. There's nothing usual. Oh, really? This is the key for room 001. Now, just a reminder, we're currently in room 002. Is there anything in the water is leaking from the tank? That's pretty disgusting. Okay, the monster has not got up. I don't know if it can. I don't know if I killed it at all. And that was 002. If you think this is 001, you're, you'd be mistaken because that's the gallery. Oh, shit. My shadow, Jill's shadow in the window kind of gave me a scare back there. I'm just expecting something to jump into those windows. I mean, those windows are placed in a pretty curious position. So something's going to... I don't know this, but something's going to get up, jump out of it. Oh, sometimes I just can't stop the monster tentacle for under the floor to attack me. I hope this is not one of those times. <gasps> Shit! Still scared me. I knew it was going to happen. It still scared me. I don't know how to prevent that, to be honest with you. Let's go back to the save room. Okay, one thing is I, I let let's deposit the shotgun here because it's running out of ammo and get the grenade launcher out. So I think we should we should always have some health items with me. That's just a smart move. So combine with them. By the way, does is anybody else just uh, super addicted to the sound effects of the Resident Evil inventories, like this sound particularly. I, I can listen to this all day. It's kind of relaxing. Um, I'm out of handgun ammo, but I'm going to take the handgun because it's easier to find extra ammo for than any other weapon. Okay, now this door previously is locked. You use the key for... yes, no more need for the key. Open the door. Um... Oh yeah, that's just uh, some, somebody hanging uh, on the roof there. Hey, how's it hang? Ah oh, shit, that was terrible. So, um, take the self-defense gun. Yeah, it's kind of small, isn't it? Suicide note. Uh, June 22nd, 1998. I had to do it. We ran from those things, helping each other to survive. But Robert started to show the symptoms. I had to do it. Those damn things are pure evil. There was no other way he would have done the same if it were the other way around. Um, after I put him out of his misery, I had to just leave him in the bathroom. Now I'm probably the last one. How could this happen? I'll never forgive myself for being part of this project. Eventually, I'll get what's coming to me though. There's no way to escape from this nut house. It's just a matter of time now. Everything is set. All I need is a little courage to get it done. Knowing that I'll leave many things undone is regret beyond words. But this is better than just waiting to turn into one of them. Please understand and at least let me end my life as a person. There's a message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. Ooh. But hey, you're leaving me all these handgun pistols, uh, ammos. So thanks for that. You, you, you're okay, my book. Some more ammo.
Um, yeah, let's reload that. Oh, we don't have any dagger. So, this is a little curious. It's so small. Ooh. It uses magnum rounds. One round has already been fired. Did he kill himself with that? An old, an old bookcase. The books are mostly concerned with literature and philosophy. Okay, uh, what about that wardrobe? Nothing on the wardrobe. And there's another room here. I guess having a side room imme immediately beside the main door is just a common state for residences in this. Oh, you don't want to hear that, do you? Well polished mirror, toilet paper, they're very discolored. It's full of dirty water. Pull out the plug. Sure, nothing bad has ever happened because of this. There's something inside the bathtub. Grab it. Uh, it's a key to the control room. Great. Another key to another door. Fuck that. <laughs> it, I don't want to have to deal with that. Nor the other one. As you have, may have anticipated, that guy is no longer hanging there. I hope he doesn't break open this door. Because, yes, from why, what I understand, we, we don't have to go back to that room, thank God. Now what I'm gonna do here is to save the game. Because I are... What I'm gonna do next killed me the last time so I'm I'm taking no chances I do not want to have to go through all of this again um, let's deposit this little guy here I don't know what it's for actually I mean it is a weapon it's used for self-defense that's straight up in the name but I don't know it's so small and so cute I don't have that many ink ribbons to go around so I have to be careful with them That being said, when you're not very familiar with this game, you never really know when is the best time to save, do you? Like the, the previous time, the first time I met the snake, the snake, we, we still haven't really taken care of the snake. But the first time I met him, I died. And I lost a ton of progress there. So there's really no way for me to know that. Uh, to be completely honest with you, I kind of hate the ink ribbon system. I respect it, but I hate it. I wish it is not there. Now, I, I can totally get behind the save station thing. I think that's actually pretty cool. But ink ribbon is just unnecessarily cruel in my opinion. Oh, I'm still afraid something's gonna pop into the mirror in the window, even though I don't think they will. Don't take my word into it. Um, shit. Oh, that guy is still on the floor. Good. Climb down. So this time, at least, we're in the right place. We should be down here. <laughs> and... Okay. Are you guys ready to... Go back to the shark room? The... Well, I keep calling it the shark room. It's actually called the aqua ray, but what the heck? The shark room. At least they're not laser sharks. I don't know. Are laser sharks really that hard to believe in Resident Evil? Oh, shit! Now, how am I supposed to know that's gonna happen? This is 
takes so much ammo so fast. Oh, that was close. That was really close. I don't want to have get bitten by them. Maybe one of you can die now? I mean, I've shot you enough time. Oh, they did die. Well, let's use the control room key. We can discard them. This is actually a not further waste of ammo because I don't think there's... If I operate this right, I won't have to worry about those sharks anyway, so yeah. But you know what? I had no choice. One bite from them takes me from healthy to to ha to cautious, so there's nothing else I can do. The warning lamp indicates that there's an emergency. Yeah, no shit, there's an emergency. So it's in this room that I died the last time. If I make it through, it's blind. Uh, uh blind. Let's play again. Wish me luck. Uh, what's this? There's a map of the Aqua Ring. Take it. You got a map of the Aqua Ring. Hooray! Caution! In case of a drop in oil pressure control, open valve 2. Okay, let's keep that in mind. And let's not forget about this. Take the first aid box and just open it. Why not? Oh, we got a herb mix of two green herbs. Okay. I'd prefer a mix of three green herbs, but I'll take what I can get. Annoying pressure regulator. There's no need to adjust the pressure right now. And if there is, We'll adjust number two. Just don't. Oh, what is this? The door is held tightly shut by the pressure of the water. So if we release the water pressure, that's probably going to open. Okay, there's the big guy right there. Oh, ominous. What do I need to do again? A pressure shelter? The controls for the main system. Everything seems to be in proper working order. It's over here. An error message is being displayed. Something appears to have gone wrong while the water was being drained. There's a switch to drain the water. Yes, let's press it. Oh, boy. Emergency, emergency. Um, you think? Source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. Um Release the safety? Yes. The safety mechanism for the pressure shelter has been released. I think this is what I should do. I'm not sure. There's a control Reaching 30% of oil pressure, pressure lost. The shelter operation terminated. Restore oil pressure, then release the safety. Okay, to, to, to adjust the pressure, I think we need to do this. Shit. The, the big guy is coming in. Switch pre... Wait, what did I do? Press, switch, switch, number two. Oh, that thing's back again? Damn it. And I... Reaching 50% thing... of pressure threshold. Uh, lock, release the safety. Yeah, I have to do that Activate again. Activate emergency drainage system immediately. Come on, come on. Okay, good. Because otherwise I think the big guy is coming in. He's gonna deep blue sea me or something like that. Have you seen deep blue sea? It's worth a check out. 
Oh, okay. Well, the countdown has stopped for me. So I think I'm safe here. Safety has been released. Drain the water! Oh, yeah. The water has been completely drained. Nice. So I I I kind of went with the the last time I played this, I went into a full panic and uh, just died in this room. Now that I've survived it, I have no idea what's coming next. And let's see if I can open this door. Now where am I? Diving suits and the nets. There doesn't seem to be anything of use. Oh. All more gr grenade shells. Cool. The materials are labeled dynamite. They are soaked beyond use. That's pity. I could use some dynamite. So there are two rooms that we can go to from here um, let's try this one first an experiment uh, I'm sorry I missed that looks like it was being used to gather data on sharks well I gathered some data on sharks do you want to know what what I found out they can die by bullets I mean previous to this day I thought the only way to kill a shark is to somehow trick it to swallow a uh, I don't know an explosive thingy and then shoot it with your uh, handgun or something but that would be silly there are large teeth marks in the chair oh no please tell me they are shark teeth <laughs> wait that doesn't make sense Actually, that does make sense. I, I just drained the water. A shark would have been here to buy the chair. So, they probably pose no threat to me now. Oh, is the big guy he still alive? I hope not. I sincerely hope he's dead. Not that I condone animal cruelty or things like that, but... Screw this one. Various types of machinery you have no idea what they're used for. That's right, be honest. If you don't know, you don't know. Ooh. Okay, I, I'm just stepping through it. And what is this for? The water flow control system, it doesn't have power. Holy! Are you freaking kidding me? Is, this, is he being serious? Generate a unit for the water flow control system, pull the lever? Yes. I mean, the machine is soaked. Is it really going to work? This thing looks like it could electrocute you. If only there was some way to drop it into the water. Let's just push it. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I should have known that was a bad idea. We're still in good health. Um, how do we push it into the water then? Okay, let's pull the lever up. Now push it. I don't know, is this actually going, still going to work? Whoa! Oh yeah, one other thing that, one benefit of uh, me installing this capture card compared to what came before is you probably can see the achievements I get now. You don't get to see that if I'm recording with PS4's inbuilt recording system. 
So conveniently, it stopped electro electrocuting stuff. And we got a residence key. Another residence key. What is it for this time? Great. Oh, it's for the gallery. Now we know where that is. I hope I haven't missed anything. I missed a lot of stuff, I know that. Another thing that this new format may have an influence on, I'm not sure yet, is the length of a episode. I'm not sure how long I, I can... I'm going to make from now on. I, I really don't know. I guess I'll find out when I start editing them. The thing is, before with the uh, when I was recording with PS4 itself, that thing allows a, a maximum of one hour per per session. So I had to mind exactly where I started and where I ended, like how many sessions I was going to take, how many files I was going to have to handle. I needed to keep that in mind, but. With how I'm doing this now, I get a little bit more leeway and I don't really have to worry about it all the time. So I can just sit here and play this for hours and just record for hours. And maybe even upload a 3 or 4 hour video, but I don't know if you'd like that. That might put too much of a strain on the editing work too, so I don't know. Maybe I'll even just put out 20 to 30 minute videos from now on. Just to cut them all into little pieces. But then again, I don't know. Just, just we'll see. I guess by the time if I'm cutting them into twenty or thirty minutes, you probably don't even hear this in the first video I upload after the format change, do you? I mean, th this would probably fit into the second episode now. That's crazy to think about. I don't think I'm gonna do this at least not for the first time. Uh, the Magnum rounds. Sure thing. I got no room for anything now. The materials are packed up tightly. This place looks just like a garbage dump. I don't know what's up there. You unlocked it. I don't know, maybe with a lockpick. I'm not quite sure what it means. Oh, I came from I came up in this room. I did not expect that. That's cool. Hmm. I guess I don't need to go back to the aqua ring anymore. I kind of want to see what it looks like now. Okay. Oh shit! Oh! I think it's uh, one of the scary ones now. I hope I don't have to come back to this room, but now I have no defensive weapon yet, yet again. This sucks. Nothing comes through the window, please. Use the gallery key. Okay, we have one more open space in the inventory now. That's one good thing that came out of it. No immediate enemy in sight. I like that. Oh. Okay. The wasps. Oh no, this this is bad. This is like there's nothing I can do about them. Lab equipment you've never seen before. I don't think there's a Can I just Can I just grab the the, the pistol? Magazine real quick. I see it right there. It's right there. Jesus. This is crazy Yes, take the handgun magazine. Thank you um, 
The lock mechanism for the door. I don't know the password. Sorry. Okay. Oh, room 003. I don't want to have to deal with them. Uh, a corpse with a contorted expression of pain on his face. He's holding something. What is he holding? Insectoid spray. That is awesome. Let's use it immediately. Wait, it's not a uh, weapon like a handgun that I can equip. Okay, this probably isn't used to dispose of mere... Oh! Jesus! It's too dangerous to go any further. Yeah, I agree. What the heck? Let's go back. Go back. Right now, right now. Um, is 003 a thing that we can go to right now? I don't think so. So... There's also that door. I want to see what happens if I tap that door. It's blocked from the other side. So let's grab... Oh, come on! I just want to grab stuff. I can't carry any more items. Are you serious? Are you being serious right now? I'll be back for you. <laughs> Keep getting stunned like this. I will be using the green herb. And then I will have room for the... For the red herb. That's the great irony of the whole situation. Um. Wow, that just happened, didn't it? So the. Shit, I'm actually. So if there's anything positive we can take away from that is that. I think I know how. I think I would know the combination to that lock. I think we can get there. And that is the in the room that we have previously visited, but we never really solved it. So we're gonna have to go through this again. Shit, I'm scared. It's gonna grab at me again. Isn't it? Nothing I can do about it. See? I just wanna. That's gotta be what the the plan for it too, and it and it hurts me. That's what's really annoying. It actually hurts me. I don't think there's any danger in this room. We've already killed the spider. So I think it has something to do with the the lights here. Like the, the green one here. Let's examine it a little bit closer. Uh, where are the other ones? There's, there's one here. This is... Red. And this one is orange. And I think we gonna we need to find them uh with the same the same colors on these balls. So we have Huh. You know what? I guess. Um, I guess that's uh, red for three, orange for five, and uh, green for six. That's the three colors for those lights, corresponding to them. I just don't. I'm not quite sure in what order. They should be tapped into that keypad, but that's gotta be it. There does seem to be anything significant about the order, but uh, if there's nothing significant about the order, does it mean I can just uh, tap three, five, six in them and uh, it'll be okay? I don't know. We're just gonna have to try it. I still don't know what the book we picked up from this room is about.
Hmm. Let's see. Um. Probably. Probably don't need all of them. It's pretty crazy to carry all these weapons with me. Oh, by the way, I'm going to be taking a... Let's see. This is the unprinted book. I don't know what it's for. Let's take one extra green herb. Because we know that room has a red herb. And uh, I don't want to have to use another ink ribbon. Just don't know how many more ink ribbons there are in this game. What if I run out of them? Am I just going to have to try to finish the whole game in one go? That's horrible to think about. The snake serum, probably never going to use it because we never got to use it on Richard. Oh, poor Richard. If only somebody actually cared about him. So I think there's a version, I don't know if in what scenario, but I think there's a version where Richard is going to be killed by those sharks. Again, I, I'm not 100% on that, so take it with a ginormous grain of salt. One of these times. I don't trust this place. Okay, let's go back to the gallery. And we're gonna face those wasps. First, first things first, I'm gonna get this. Take the red herb. Ah, get away from me. And actually, you know what, let's combine that. Where is the keypad? Yes. It's just a tight... Oh, they have three symbols. Oh, shit. I don't remember. Um, If I can think back the times I actually cared about... The, these, I, I did make a mental note of these symbols the first time I saw them, but not just before. So, I'm g it's just three numbers. So, I think this one is supposed to be the red one. And the red one was what? Which was the red one? The three numbers are um, three, five, six. And I think five is orange. Maybe so. Maybe six is green. That means red is three. I'm completely unsure about that. <laughs> oh god, this is horrible. I'm gonna try this though. I'm gonna try the. Um. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait a second. What the hell? Oh. It's just asking me one thing. Um, what was this again? I think this is three. Wait, what's going on? Um, I don't remember, dude. Oh, it's correct. Um, somehow I got it right. That was a little confusing with the lock. But I'm sure to many of you that make per perfect sense. Oh, there are little insects crawling around. There's something written on the wall. One, 
plus 3 equals 4, 4 plus 6 equals 10, 1 plus 6 is 7, 10 plus 7 is 17, 17 plus 3 is 20. Um, yes, those are all correct from my based on my limited knowledge on mathematics. What is the significance of this? I have no idea. Uh, take the empty bottle. There are a few empty bottles here. I don't think I need to take all of them. Let's examine it first. There's nothing inside. Yeah. This is gonna be some elaborate puzzle UMB number three take some I don't know what I don't know what it is like what about the green one yellow six is that is that all there is here Um, this is number three. This is six. So let's go back to the writing here. One plus three. Huh. So I think we're going to try to get a seven, uh, get a twenty out of it. We're gonna need to find. We have. We know that is three, but where is one? What is? Fill the empty bottle with water. I don't know. Should we? It's another empty bottle. So let's say one is just the common water. I think that would mean we're gonna need, we just need to take two empty bottles, which I actually have room for. Let's try then. Take another empty bottle. And the first one is one plus three equals four. And Yes, this is the yellow six. I just need to make sure. I hope my theory is correct. I got a jar of water. So we have water and an empty bottle. Now I'm going to one plus three this thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not what I was... Can we... Oh, good. I have a NP004 NP and empty bottle. What's this? What's the next one? Let's see here. 4 plus 6 equals 10. So we're going to take the 4 and add some 6 into it. Uh, can I just do this? least right we got we got 10 what we need now is this something right now. the next one is one plus six so we're gonna need to uh, can I, I wasn't trying to take the bottle Fill the empty bottle with water. Now uh, we got a one. Uh, was that one plus six? Yes, we are going to straight up. But does it? Does is it going to go to the right 
bottle. That's what I'm more worried about. This is kind of a stupid thing to have to worry about. You need a container to put into it. Oh shit, you're kidding me? You, I can't just... Well, that's annoying. What am I supposed to do about that? Well, shit. I can eat this, but that'll be a waste. Can I just temporarily drop some of the other stuff? Let's examine this. We haven't had a chance yet. It's, it's a pump action spray. There's plenty of insecticide inside. I think we may have to go back to the save room. You know what? Before we do that, let's just... It's too dangerous to go any further. I know, I know, I know. Can we just use this here? Nope. That's not how you use it, apparently. Even though it seems completely, um, I don't know, appropriate. Okay, we've got out of there. Oh, that's just annoying. Having to go double back for that. Just to clear up an open space. When we actually came here with plenty of open spaces. And I have to subject myself to... You know what? No. Can, can we just... Can I maybe push this box down there? I can I can climb onto it. <sighs> Do I have to subject myself to this every goddamn time? Right, back to uh, where, where was I? We have a 10 and we have a 1. Um, the next one is 1 plus 6. Oh, we gotta grab another one of these bottles. And take some 6. That looks like piss, by the way. And combine them. We got a, we got So we got a 10. We got a 7. Next. 10 plus 7 equals 17. Okay, we got some 17. And 17 plus 3 equals 20. Okay. Oh, we got a V jolt. What is it's a distinctively brown liquid. <laughs> and it doesn't pour out of it. Is there a document here that explains what V Jode is and what to do with it? Did I miss something? Oh by the way, can I just drop these? <laughs> They're extremely annoying. I don't want to have to carry them with me. So what do I do with a V jolt? Exactly. I suspect it has something to do with a plant. Oh, water plus one, red is three, purple is four, yellow is six. You know what? That that's all news to me now. So now what? 
Well, now I'm not sure what. What do I do with this? Use it? It's not necessary to use this. When is it necessary to use it? I, I, I really have no idea. So let's examine the situation. Where haven't we been to yet? That we can go to, but we haven't. That's all in this this stair. So immediately we just need to do something about the whole um, that whole wasp situation. So I don't know. This is a really long shot. I'm gonna try to use the V jolt after the wasp thing. I really doubt. That's going to work. Okay, I don't know how, how you're going to do this, but pour at it? Of course not. Uh, that's just not how this game works. Okay. Well, I'm out of here. I might as well go back and uh, deposit the, the two empty bottles, which are completely worthless now. One of these times, don't let your guard down. Don't let the game get to you. Well, folks, just because I, I, I theoretically can sit here and play for forever, it doesn't mean I... Oh, I can move this. But I shouldn't be moving this one. This one is covering another hole down there. I really don't know. There's got to be a way to, to prevent this. There's no way you're just supposed to take a hit every time. But anyway, I think that's this is where I sign off today. We at least killed some sharks. We managed to concoct a, I don't know, a V jolt or something. I don't know what it's for, but I'm gonna find out. And until next time, folks, uh, stay indoors, play video games, or watch someone like me play video games. Stay safe, stay safe for yourself, for your family, and I wish everybody the best of luck. See you next time.